Hey guys, Ben Thunderbird here, Hey Man Fishing. We're in Cherokee, North Carolina. I got some fishing hoes to put you on if you're up here. Stay tuned. Well, guys, there's another spot down here. You turn off of uh, Big Cove Road at Mingo Falls and follow this road back here to this right across is a area here where you can you can park but through these woods right here at the, uh there's a good spot in here at this river we're gonna walk down there i mean if we walk straight down in here a couple places that you can fish this smooth water smooths out after going through all, all over these rocks All right, so this place in here, that's Big Co Road over there where you see that car going up. And this water's a little bit deep, but it does get shallow out there and you can catch some nice trout in here. It's hard to hit that. This you're fishing on the other side. You're fishing some deep water, but it's just pretty, pretty hard to fish from that side because that bank's pretty steep. But like I say, if you go down there, at Mingo Falls, cross the bridge, and take a left, and come up the road, you can get to this area. On a sunny day, you can see the fish in here if you up there on the highway. If you want to see if there's anything in here, you just go to the edge and look down in here. You can see them stacked up in here. I talked to, <clears throat> we're staying at Husky Rentals. Uh, always use that place. And, um, Talked to some other fishermen. They got up here yesterday. One guy, he caught eight yesterday. Said they had stocked yesterday. And uh, they got up early this morning, come out, three of them. And they only caught two between all of them. And me and my buddy, we traveled three hours to get up here this morning. It's already, I guess it's two o'clock. But uh, I caught two, and like I say, all I'm doing is you want to come out here and you want to throw, just fan it a few times. If they ain't here, you're going to catch them. I mean, you can spend an hour here just throwing and throwing and throwing, maybe pick up one. Uh, but I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is all I'm doing is trying to figure out if they if they stacked up in here or stocked up. And if they are, then you know, of course, I'm staying going to fish a little while. But right now, I ain't getting no hits, so I'm gonna move on to another location. All right, guys, you uh, the next spot I'm gonna show you is right behind. If you turn down beside, when you pass the Burger King, like you're coming back to the casino, there's a road back to the right. Take that right. You'll come around a the bend, there'll be an old uh, tire and uh, mechanical uh, car uh, uh, shop on your left. But you come on down about 100 yards, and you'll find this parking here on the side of the road. And uh, what you want to do, I'm going to take you down there. All right, now we're walking down here where you see my buddy down there where he's fishing. 
from that point where he's fishing all the way up here this uh these rapids is where you want to hit now i catch most of my fish over here on this wall it's a rock wall see this rock wall right across from all out in there we're getting ready to hit it so you take your number two throw it out there and just let it kind of there he is he's already on there already look at there that's a good one there buddy that's a good one there come on over here come over here mr trout uh, he's pulling 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 he's oh he's a good one he's a good one yeah so I can get you on this here net. Uh. All right. All right. Nice one. Good size one too, boy. All right. All right, guys. Another place, one place that's overlooked up here that people just don't realize there's trout that's put in the soco creek here in front of the casino and uh the creek ain't that big but uh it's got a lot of holes in it and uh you can limit out in some of these places in here so if you're up here you have the opportunity this is one of them hot holes i'm telling you about hit soco creek in front of the casino uh you used to be able to park up out here uh but they done made some changes and added a, a building and uh so it's hard to park on this side you may have to park over on the other side the pancake house or on that vicinity guys i'm i am at the casino right in front of it the entrance and this is where you want to start and work your way downstream. And I tell you, it don't look like much, but this fit this this place has got fish. Guys, just come up here, start, and uh, work your way all the way down. There he is. There he is. Right in front of the casino, guys. Come on over here. Come on over here. Okay. Soco uh, Creek. Now you can. Uh, it runs right past the casino but actually you can go in front of the casino like you're leaving you're leaving out of cherokee here uh, up the road here there's a uh, you'll see a little side road the first one you see there's a bridge there you take a left uh, off off this main road out here and um You'll see the bridge, and you'll see catch and uh, catch and keep. And you can start there at that bridge, and you can work your way all the way down. You can make a day out of it and work your way all the way down past the casino. But this is one overlooked area that nobody comes to much. I mean, they just, I don't know if they just don't think about it, but... Uh, I've caught my limit out here many a times, especially using uh, 
crickets on the bottom in these pools and the uh, worms, the night crawlers. All right, there's nothing. He just hit it. Just got a good hit right there. Go back over there on him. Well, today's forecast is thunderstorms. I imagine it's probably going to be overcast most of the day. And um, we usually do a couple trips a year and uh, stay two to three nights. This trip's a two-niner. We're coming back next month in June, a uh, group of us. But that's the thing about, you know, if you come up here with a crowd, you're pretty much by yourself. I mean, you know, here I am way up here half a mile from the other, the other guy I'm fishing with. And uh, we just, it's just you and the, and the river and the trout. Pretty much that. All right, one more cast. Now we're going to move. I was fishing here one time and uh, had a, there he is right there. Yeah, I'll tell you that story in just a minute. I'll get this, let me get this one in. He's a good size. Come on over here. Pretty fish, but uh, I was out here one time fishing, and the gentleman was had his little kid up there on the bank right over here, watching me fish, and I had a stringer full, and uh, he said, "Can I see what you got on your stringer?" My little girl wants to see them, see the fish, and I, uh, I walked over and brought my stringer up and she wanted to look at this little rainbow trout and uh got to talking with him i said you been gambling here he said oh yeah i said you win he said uh no he said i lost twenty thousand dollars i'm like wait a minute man what is it that you do to have that kind of money to lose and all and he was telling me he uh he had a couple of restaurants so i guess he was making some money and he had money to spare to gamble well guys and gals i hope you enjoyed this trip hit those hot spots you're gonna catch you some trout and until next time god bless all of you and have a great week see you later